This is what they call a glow up. Kumail Nanjiani throwing up a shirtless picture on Instagram that grabbed everyone's attention. It set the internet on fire. Hi, my name is Kumail Nanjiani. You might know me from uh, Silicon Valley. We're more mission focused than ever in providing the best video chat the world has ever seen. Or the big sick. I've usually played nerds. And then I got a part in a Marvel movie called Eternals where I get to play a superhero. And he's not just any superhero. His secret identity is that he's a Bollywood movie star. Those guys are super jacked. So I had to really, really get into shape. I wanted to gain a lot of muscle. And I wanted to look like someone who could believably hang with Thor or Captain America. So I knew that I had to really, really transform my body. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite moves today. We're going to do sort of a full body uh, workout and I'll just show you some exercises that I really enjoy doing. So this is my trainer Grant and uh, what's this thing? We're on a power plate. This is a pre-activation tool. So what this is going to do is basically for oxygen and, and blood into Kamel's legs in preparation for our first uh, exercise. So it works uh, very dynamically. It vibrates side to side, front to back and up and down. I'm going to hit the on button. And what happens here is um, this is actually multiplying Kumail's weight because of the vibration pattern it actually creates a G-force. And right now his quads are contracting and relaxing 1,500 times in this 30 second interval. Okay. Feel each one. It lasts forever. So the first move we're doing is the Zerker squats. I don't like doing legs. He tricks me into doing squats by saying it does a lot of abs too. Which is all true. So Kamel's going to uh, go ahead and uh, get the bar and cradle it. He's going to step into the middle of the squat rack. He's going to perform squats. The weight naturally pulls you forward, which engages the abdominal wall. So very important to be strict and formed with this. Obviously you want a, a straight back at a, at, a, at a slight angle forward. The weight is going to pull you forward, but you're performing a perfect squat down to the 90 degree parallel and uh, rem remain that. Don't, don't lunge forward and it's about a shoulder width stance. So my favorite chest exercise is low cable scoops. And what you do is with these cables, you bring your hands together. It's like you're sort of holding water and then you raise it up a little bit and you try to not engage your delts at all. You can really squeeze here to really feel the, the pecs being engaged. I like to do three to four sets, about 10 to 12 reps each, and end it to failure. So really in the last set, do as many as you can do until you can't do anymore. My favorite shoulder exercise is the delt giant set. And why I like it is you can hit all three parts of the delts, the front, the laterals, the rears uh, in one. And I do eight reps each, you'll see what I mean. Three sets and just try and do as many as you can on the last set, so here we go. All right, we're going to electrocute Kamel on television. We're going to apply these pads to his bicep. This is a stim device. It's awful. Um, what's going to cause is a muscular contraction to take place, but he can contract through it. We're going to do it with uh, 25 pound dumbbells today. I definitely feel like a bad guy in a Rocky movie. All right, so go ahead. We're going to start with seven crossbody curls with a twist. Good, that twist is to activate the outside peak of the bicep. Say when. Yeah, you can keep going. Ah, that's it. Okay. Seven reps. So, uh, I love this because of the activation and the recruitment pattern. It, it, it's phenomenal about how much uh, actual ah. intensity is taking place here. There's a lot of recruitment. <laughs> There's a lot of actual intensity taking place. All right, seven uh, reps and we're gonna open up for the final seven. And we're also trying to hit um, and recruit as much fiber uh, as, po as possible. It's the great thing about the stim machine is it does pull these fibers in that you wouldn't normally other contract. Nothing great about the stim machine. Wow. Well, your biceps look pretty great. Uh, and that's it. So for triceps, I like doing dips. It's a good transition going from chest to triceps. As I said, I 
find uh, training arms boring. So this is a good way to keep it interesting because it still engages the chest, especially if I lean forward. Uh, so, go. So I'll do three sets of those and I try and get about 25 reps a set. Every few weeks I try and see if I can add a couple more reps to one of the sets and then slowly work my way up. I want to be able to do, you know, 30 reps each set in the next couple months. So my favorite back exercise is the squatted cable rows. I like this one because you can really engage the lat and you're not trying to pull the weight towards you, you're trying to drive your elbows back. That minimizes bicep engagement and maximizes lat engagement. Okay, so those were some of my favorite exercises. What's kept me going to the gym is uh, changing up the workout, finding exercises I like, and sort of uh, mixing things up all the time, you know, trying heavy weights, light weights, drop sets. Uh, so that's really what's, uh, what's kept me interested in working out. Who knows, maybe in a few years I'll look completely different and I'll look back at this video and be like, I can't believe I look like that.